Alright, so welcome to this video. Today I'll be going over how to install Pixelmon for Minecraft. As you can see, I have a little bit added mods to it to make it a little bit more like Pixelmon Snap or Pokemon Snap. I've added a Pokemon looking texture pack. Uh, obviously there's a shader, look at that sun. And obviously the Pixelmon mod. What is that thing? Oh, that is a creepy sheep. Uh, oh, there's a Pidgey. There you go, Squirtle, let's go. You can see I can uh, go ahead and take a snap of that. Take a look at my little picture. Uh, that's not the right one. All right, Squirtle, I'm gonna take a picture of you because you're kind of cute. All right, here we go. So take a picture of that and look at my, oh, he's so cute, look at that. So this is Pixelmon. Let's go ahead and get started by jumping onto Google. Squirtle, Squirtle. First thing you wanna do is go to Google and type Pixelmon. You can do Pixelmon for Minecraft. Click the first link, which would be Pixelmon Reforged. Take you to their main website. The newest Pixelmon versions do run on Minecraft version 1.12.2, so you're gonna need Forge version 1.12.2. So, uh, first thing you wanna do is click the download button to get Pixelmon. You're gonna wait five seconds for it to download. Click skip, and that should automate the download at the bottom left corner over here. When that's done downloading, just click keep and that will be saved in your downloads folder. Okay, so then we'll close that and come back to the main Pixelmon Reforge website and click Forge and you should be asked to skip and then download. Uh, we'll keep that and then that'll download automatically. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to run the mod. Pick up all right, the next step is you're gonna start up your Minecraft launcher. Uh, the latest release 1.17 is my selected option to play if you have 1.12 that's great if you don't just go to installations and click a new installations call this pixelmon or whatever you'd like go ahead to versions and this is the one you want 1.12.2 and then go ahead and create okay and then we'll go to play so then you'll select the correct version which you named it but here you can see it's 1.12.2 click play to install it and go ahead and click play. All right, once it loads up, go ahead and quit. You just needed that to install the game so you can install Forge onto that installation file. So after you close Minecraft, the next thing you wanna do is open up your downloads folders and find the Forge file. You can go ahead and double click it straight from the downloads folder or you can just drag it to your desktop. You wanna right click and open with and make sure uh, you have Java installed. So you should have something like this, uh, the Java the M platform SC binary or something similar to that. You just need Java installed. And if you do, double click it. To install Forge, you're gonna need Java. And if you don't have Java for some strange reason, I will provide the link in the description below. But let's assume that you do and you double click the Forge installer, you'll install a client. So let's go ahead and click OK. And that should have gone ahead and gave you a successful message. Now, you don't need Forge anymore. You can go ahead and delete this. So once you've successfully installed Forge, just go ahead and run Minecraft Launcher once again. You should have a Forge 1.12.2 version available at the as an installation selection to play. Uh, if you do not, just go to installations, go to new installations once again. We'll call this Pixelmon. Then we will click the version that we want to find, which will be 12.2. You can see that this does not say Forge, so this is not the correct one. You want to find the one that says Forge with. So you'll find the release 1.12.2-forge. That's the correct one. So you'll click that and then you'll create. Once you select that, you will go ahead and click play. Again, you can see that this says 1.12.2-forge. So this is the correct version. So click play. And by clicking play, uh, you're gonna install the mods folder within the Minecraft's folder itself. So once you run Minecraft version 1.12.2 with Forge, you'll notice that you have this mods tab now. So we'll go ahead and quit. You don't need this anymore. Go ahead and quit the game. The next thing you need to do is access your Minecraft folder. On Windows, you just select the Windows button and R key. And once you do that, you'll get this uh, percent sign app data percent sign backslash dot Minecraft. Uh, so you don't want to type this within the run command and that should open up uh, your location of Minecraft on your computer. So it's right here dot Minecraft. If you're using Mac, I will list the path to which you uh, need to use to access Minecraft uh, on an Apple computer. Go ahead and find the mods folder, which will be somewhere right here. So click mods. It should be relatively empty. If you've used mods before, then there might be other things. I would say if you're running Pixelmon for the first time, I'll probably just remove everything from the mods folder and um, just test out whether the, the mod works or not. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, drag Pixelmon for version 1.12.2, drag that over to the mods folder, and that should be pretty much it. You can go ahead and close your downloads folder, run Minecraft once again, 
once you open up the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and select the correct Minecraft version, which is 1.12.2 for Forge, and click Play. As you can see, you still have the Mods tab. In the Mods tab, you'll notice that there should be a Pixelmon mod. So this is Pixelmon 8.2. There's nothing you need to do. This just kind of confirms that you have the proper mod installed into your Mods folder. So go ahead and click Single Player. We'll create a new world. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Pokemon. Okay. Um, survival. And then go ahead and create a new world. So the first thing that's going to pop up is your starter Pokemon selection. Select whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to click Squirtle. And there you have it. That's uh, pretty much it. Uh, you're in a world full of Pokemon now. So here's our Ekans. We got a. Ekans. Yeah, we hear you, Ekans. And then you got a Slowpoke. Slow. Yup. And then if you want your Pokemon to come out, you simply just throw them out. And there you go, Squirtle, the chosen one. Squirtle, Squirtle. Uh, yeah, you're back in some uh, bushes. There you are. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I'm lost in the Viridian Forest somewhere. And there's Metapods and all types of freaky things around me. If you like the video and want to see more on Pixelmon, maybe tutorials on how to use it a bit better, if you'd like to see this uh, Pixelmon Snap Pokemon Snap mod configuration I've set up, please leave in the comments below and I'll be happy to create a video on that. So I'll show you how to add the cameras mod so you can take pictures, uh, save them, um, add them to your album. Uh, look at the Ekans. Voltorb, Miltank, Clefairy. How to add the Pokemon texture map, add shaders to make it look a little bit more enhanced and uh, also how to add this Johto Kanto map if you want to relive the classic Pokemon maps if you choose to do so. And that's pretty much it. And do hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy this content and like to see future mod, texture pack, or shader videos. As always, have a good day. Bye.